Hi everyone, I'm Miss Mary from Skokie Public Library, and I am back with another Rise and Shine story time. And as you know, uh, the first thing that we do in Rise and Shine story time is check out our magic box. Because in our magic box is what we're going to be talking about today. And I always like to give you an opportunity to guess, see if you can figure out what it is we'll be talking about. And today, I want to get right to our magic box because it's making a noise that I think might give you a clue about what's inside. You hear that? What do you think that could be? Did you guess? Okay, let's see if you're right. Oh, yes. This is a toy tractor trailer. This is one of those great big trucks that goes all across the country delivering big, big loads. So this isn't the kind of truck that you see around the neighborhood delivering from house to house. These are trucks that go from one coast of our country to the other coast. They are really amazing. And uh, some people call them big rigs. Some people call them tractor trailers. Some people call them 18 wheelers. That's a lot of wheels, right? And the loads that they carry are just huge. And this tractor trailer is a special kind. If you notice, it doesn't have one of those big shipping containers on the back, those big square boxes. This one is called a flatbed, and all it has is this very flat platform here. And what that means is that it can carry huge loads, loads that wouldn't even fit inside of one of those boxy containers. Loads like big construction pipes, like those pipes that go under the ground that uh, carry water from house to house or take the water away from houses, or big steel beams. Those might be used for big skyscrapers. Sometimes they carry lumber, big pieces of lumber that wouldn't fit inside a container. Sometimes they carry other trucks. <laughs> if a construction vehicle has to get to a construction site, sometimes it will be carried on one of these big rigs. And sometimes, and I have seen this, they even carry houses. If you're lucky, when you're traveling on the highway with your grown up sometime, you might see one of these big flatbed tractor trailers carrying a great big house, moving it from one location to the next. So they're really, really important, and they're very hard to drive. The drivers have to be very, very good drivers because the load can shift, and that means the whole truck could go over. And today, we are going to read about a flatbed tractor trailer that has this kind of problem. This is one of my favorite new books, and if you like trucks, I think you'll love it as much as I do. It's called Big Truck, Little Island. It's by Chris Van Dusen. You can see the big truck right here on the cover. And I am reading it today with the permission of Candlewick Press. Big truck, little island. And I wanna show you this picture first before we start reading. This is a picture of a barge in the middle of the ocean, which is carrying this truck. The truck is going to a tiny little island. Here's a close-up of that barge carrying the truck. And you can see that the cargo of the truck, we don't know what it is. It's all wrapped up and tied up tight, but it's very big. Out on the ocean, one bright summer day, bound for an island still five miles away, 
A tugboat was towing a truck on a barge, a truck that was hauling a load extra large. Now here's a, a picture of the island. And you can see this is a small island. Here's the barge. And the island is just really a little island. The cargo it carried was all under wraps, tied to the trailer with buckles and straps, facing a twisty and treacherous ride to get to the field on the far eastern side. So the, the barge is going to come in right here. And I just want to point out to you this road that the truck has to take with all these twisty turns to get to a field all the way on the other side. You can see it's going to be uh, a problem for the driver to be able to drive that big truck over those roads. Well, here, here's the barge landing with the truck. The barge reached the ramp. The truck trundled off. It bucked up the bridge with a wheeze and a cough. Then slowly but surely, it chugged up the road, lugging its 20-ton oversized load. 20 tons. You know, if you look here at this picture, you can see that the truck is going by some houses and the truck is just about as big as those houses. Here's the driver. One narrow roadway transacted the aisle and the driver had driven by less than a mile when he came to a switchback terribly tight then felt the whole payload shift off to his right. Oh my goodness. So he's making a very tight turn and look what's happening. His load shifted. What do you think's gonna happen? Let's see. The trailer was tipping, everything slipping. The wheels in the way back were no longer gripping. They skidded and slid off the road, and then, uh-oh, thud. They landed and lodged in the soft, sticky mud. Can you see the wheel here? It's off the road and it's stuck in the mud. Here's a good picture of what happened. So a little narrow road, and this truck is just completely stuck in the middle of the road. Two cars in a hurry arrived from the north. Here they are. Then from the south came a third and a fourth, right up there. They waited and wished that the traffic was flowing. They had things to do, and they had to get going. Doesn't look like they can get through, though. See. Meg had a swim meet at three at the pool. Here's Meg. She swam the fly for her team at the school. And Barry was already late for ballet. He needed to practice his battement frappé. Battement frappé is a ballet step. Pete had a project to finish with Paul, a working volcano with lava and all. And Sue had to be at the dog wash with Bunk, her sheepdog who tried to make friends with a skunk. <laughs> That must be pretty smelly in Sue's car. Parental frustration soon started to show. Can you see, here's Barry's mom. She doesn't look happy about having to sit and wait for this truck. How could
could they get where they needed to go? They stewed and they steamed. Their faces grew red. Then all of the children convened up ahead. Oh, so look, the kids got out of the car. And here we have Meg and Sue and Pete and Barry. Since Meg lived by Barry and Barry knew Pete, and Pete was Sue's neighbor on Sycamore Street, and Meg was in art club with Barry and Sue, they quickly decided as friends what to do. What do you think they're gonna do? Barry said, listen, let's all exchange cars. We'll borrow yours and then you borrow ours. I'll switch with Pete and Meg swaps with Sue and later we'll trade our cars back when we're through. That is a pretty good solution, don't you think? Let's just look back for a minute at the problem. So here's the problem. These cars have to get over here and these cars have to get over there. So what if everyone here just takes these cars and these folks take those cars and they switch back later? It's a good solution to the problem. The parents agreed. The solution was great. By borrowing cars, they'd no longer be late. And so they departed and went on their way to the pool and the dog wash to Paul's and ballet. And as for the big rig, that too was okay. A wrecker was summoned and towed it away to the far eastern field, where later that night, see here it goes, it's being towed. <laughs> All was revealed to the people's delight. So that big tractor trailer was carrying all the pieces for this big Ferris wheel for a big summer fair on the island. And if you look closely at this picture, what's really fun is you can see there's Meg and Sue and there's Barry and Pete. So they're all enjoying the fair too. <laughs> and what I love about this story is that it really did happen. There's a little note in the back of the book and the author says that he decided to write this story because he heard about an island where a truck was blocking the road and the people on the island had this great idea to just switch cars to get around the truck. Now, before I go, uh, I'd like to tell you that if you liked this book about a truck and you'd like to read some more, if you look at the description of this video, you will see that I've listed a few more books that we have at Skokie Public Library that are all about these wonderful big trucks. So check them out. They're really fun. And before I go, I would like to just do a little counting with you. Remember I said that these trucks are called 18 wheelers. Now, when you look at the trucks, you can't always see all 18 wheels. So I'm going to show you a picture of the bottom of one of these great big trucks. And let's count the wheels and see if they're really 18, okay? Can you count up to 18? Let's try it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Yep. 18 wheels on these great big trucks and the truck needs every single one of them to support its big load and grip the road at the same time. So uh, I will see you next time and we will do some more stories together. 
And in the meantime, when you're on the highway in your car, take a look and see if you can see any of these great big 18 wheelers. And you can tell your grown up where all the wheels are too. I'll see you next time. Bye.